Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Sergi and here we are in Pathfinder Solution Series. Uh, today I have brought forward a tricky problem from the topic of kinematics. It's an object to number 21 in the book Pathfinder. Okay, so uh, there can be alternative solutions to this, but uh, what I would like to present here is a visual way of solving the problem. So definitely an enriching way once you go through the solution. Okay, so in case you have not given it a try, here's the formal wording of the question. Okay, so please do stay till the end of the video. I'll be giving you a um, practice problem on a similar kind of a uh, um, relative motion problem. Okay, so uh, the level of this question, I could say, is at the level one of Indian Physics Olympiad or even the JE advanced level. Okay, so we'll go ahead with the formal wording. Particle A moves with the constant speed 2 meter per second on a circular path of radius 4 meter, whereas particle B moves along a straight line through the center of the circular path, always maintaining a constant distance of 4 meter from the particle. Which of the following conclusions can be drawn? More than one may be correct. Okay. Maximum speed of B is 4 meter per second. Maximum acceleration of B is 2 meter per second square. During one revolution of A, distance traveled by B is 32 meter. And the modulus of velocity of particle relative to the other is a constant. Okay. So these are the four options that were precisely mentioned. And if you want to give it a try, just pause the video here for two or three minutes. Have a try and do come back for the solution, right? And you can compare your solution in case you have already done it with the way that I am going to try to solve this problem. Okay, so here we go. So the first of all, the concept that I would like uh, to uh, introduce is the idea that since AB's length, which is four centim uh, four meters, and also the radius of this particular circular motion for A is four. Uh, and also the particle A is moving along a circle and particle B is moving along a straight line. He said in the question that it is passing to the center. So I can choose any arbitrary line. So I've chosen an X axis like this for the B's motion. Also, I would imagine in my mind that A and B are connected by a rigid rod, right? That's what I've written. We can imagine a rigid rod AB moving in such a way that A, uh, which is the end of the rod moves in a circle like this with a constant uh, angular velocity and B moves along the straight line, which is moving like this so that this AB's length cannot be changed. So whatever he has mentioned, we are visually thinking that they're actually connected by a rod which cannot extend its length. Okay, right. So the few important positions that you could uh, help yourself to visualize this is let's say T is equal to zero is when the A position is here and B is also on the X axis. So the entire distance of B from the origin would be eight meters, A would be at four meter point. Okay, so that I'm defining it as T is equal to zero as you could see at the bottom of the screen. And then A as it starts moving, B starts gliding along the X axis and at one fourth of the time period for capital A, the A will reach the top and B will reach the center to maintain the distance of four meters. And A continues to move this way and B also moves this way to make space for A's position here, B should go on to the other side of the origin, exactly reverse position of what T is equal to zero was. And then again, this one continues its motion. A comes to the bottom, again, B goes to the center and then this would be the three T by four instant of time. Then once another T by four elapses, you come back to the T is equal to zero position and this entire motion repeats. So this is the basic idea with which we are ensuring that the condition of the distance between A and B being constant. Okay, now in the next slide, we are going to utilize the uh, fact that these two distances are same. Okay, so here we move. Okay, a lot of things on the board. Just try to follow my lead instead of reading things on your own. You'll otherwise get confused. Okay, so I've drawn an arbitrary position at which this point a point A is moving along circle. And since he said it is uniform circular motion, I would say the speed is going to be R omega at that particular instant where omega is 0.5 radian per second from the question that he has given. Okay, so he said that this is going to be two meter per second and this is four meter therefore 0.5 radian per second. Now, at this instant, if the angle formed by this radius vector of A is omega t, which is obvious because it's uniform circular motion, then you could notice that OAB always forms a 
isosceles triangle okay so this triangle is isosceles so whatever is the angle here should be the angle here okay so with that aspect i would say that the velocity of point a which is along tangent 4 omega which is perpendicular to this radius line could see yellow and this yellow are perpendicular and the velocity of b which is along x axis i have utilized white color for that the velocities of these two endpoints along the rod should be the same because they are not supposed to change the length of the rod so velocity along the rod uh, components for a and b should be same so the 4 omega cos of this angle which is 90 minus this angle because this entire thing is 90 degrees if these two are omega t this exterior angle should be 2 omega t that's what i've written here that should be on this side equal to vb times of cos omega t that's what you have written vb being the speed here so the speed vb therefore you rearrange you end up getting this you sine 2 theta is 2 sine theta cos theta you would get this number i have introduced a minus sign to respect the fact that at t is equal to zero the value of the velocity is zero but at t greater than zero b starts moving towards negative x-axis so just to represent my motion in the diagram so this is nothing but an shm right so the value of vb max is going to be 8 omega when sine omega t becomes 1 that is omega t is pi by 2 so that is this position this is the position where vb becomes maximum okay and the value of that maximum is 8 omega with omega substituted as 0.5 you get 4 meter per second this was one of the options okay second one xb that is the integration of this vb gives you 8 cos omega t plus a constant and that constant you can substitute right at t is equal to 0 b was at 8 meters we said right completely flat like this this position the b's position is 8 meters so there is no need of any extra constant it's taken care of and also the differentiation of this will give you acceleration of b along the straight line which is minus 8 omega square cos omega t Therefore, the maximum value of acceleration that he has asked in one of the options will come out to be 2 meter per second square, where it is 8 omega square omega I substituted as 0.5. Okay. And one of the other options, if you carefully observe, was he's asking during one revolution of A, distance traveled by B is 32 meter. I think it's easy to check that when A goes around like this, B starts from here, goes back to this position and again comes back a total of 16 meters this way okay and the 16 meters back therefore the 32 meter answer is also right so how about the last option is it right or wrong let's try to check okay so modulus of velocity of particle relative to the other is a constant so he's talking about relative velocity being a constant magnitude okay so how is that possible so let's try to check it out in the next page so i'll just borrow this diagram again and i'll make a statement which you'll like if the position vector of a with respect to o is always making a same angle with a fixed direction this x-axis let's say it says uh, fixed direction then this a b line also makes the same angle with that x-axis and rate of change of that angular position or angle is nothing but defined as the angular velocity this is the basic definition of angular velocity of a line okay right so since this d theta by dt is a constant i can make a statement that a oa and ab have the same constant angular velocity i should have said angular speed because for a oa it is anti clockwise and for ab it would be a clock um, it would be a clockwise or anti clockwise i think we can check it's more about the modulus that we are related here okay so since ab is having a constant angular velocity if you sit on one particle and watch the other and maintaining the same speed uh, same distance four then we can make a statement that a with respect to b moves in a uniform circular motion of radius ab okay and that can only happen if the modulus of v a b is a constant okay so i hope you understand this the distance between the two is fixed the angular velocity of a with respect to b is fixed and therefore the speed of a as seen by b or vice versa should be the same okay so that's why it's deemed as a constant and we'll go back and mark the options that we got i think we got all of them so this is the correct key for this particular situation okay so if you go through this question very carefully right you should have got one doubt which is very obviously resolved but i would like to know from you so the food for thought as you go through this problem is how did we rule out that the particle b is actually not in the plane of 
plane of motion of A. He never mentioned. He said it passes through the center, but he never mentioned that it should be in the same plane. That is what I have taken in the entire solution. So it's easily resolvable. I hope you got the point. In case you did, please do let me know in the comment section below. Okay. And here's your practice problem. A slightly tougher one, you could say. Uh, this would be the level two of your Indian uh, Olympiads, Indian Physics Olympiad level. So for those who are aiming at those type of exams, please do try this particular question. Um, this is passage, as you could see, some information is there and four questions are there below it. Okay, so one of them is really tough. So I hope you can get through it and try to comment in the section below. I'll come up with the solutions of this in the Pathfinder solution series before your IOQP examination for sure. Okay, and so in case you want to check out the rest of the series that are running parallelly in this channel, the links of all these playlists are in the description below. So please make sure you go through these descriptions and try to uh, choose the series that suits your needs. Okay. And in case you like this video, please do give it a like. Liked videos are pushed by YouTube algorithm to more wider audience and thereby helping me to grow the uh, uh, family of this particular channel far and wide. Okay. So please do share it with your relevant WhatsApp and Telegram study groups and also uh, try to subscribe to my channel in case you do like the content that I do provide. Okay. So uh, stay safe and see you in the next video.